Dr. Carl Ferradelli, and so I'm going to give a, a uh, presentation today about uh, how to work smarter, not harder. So that's one of the little catchphrases that I use in my classes. Let's see, I think I have a good marker here somewhere. Good. So, I want you to think like a graduate student, and one of the ways to do that is to work smarter, not harder. And so there's many ways to do this. I'm going to go over some strategies for you to do this. One of the ways is to try to make sure that every assignment that you do is something that you look at the assignment and figure out how is it going to benefit you on down the road, how is it going to benefit you on your job. And so one of the little phrases that I also use is that you wag the curriculum of course I borrowed that from the old idea that the uh, dog should wag its tail, its tail shouldn't wag the dog and so I don't want the curriculum of this class to wag scholars, I don't want it to wag you, I want you to wag it I want you to look at each assignment, and if you come up with a way to do that assignment, or even modify the assignment, that will help you, then you, you should be the one driving this course. Um, if you decide to use the optional textbook, only go into the textbook and, and try to find ideas that will benefit you. Otherwise, let your school be your textbook, and let your career be your textbook. So, another way to work smarter, not harder, then, is to make that theory, those things that you've studied in your classes, be things that you can apply. So, that's a bridge that I want you to build. Here's the bridge, that theory to application bridge. I don't want you just to memorize theories, I want you to use ideas that you gain from, from uh, these videos, my lectures, from your visits with uh, your fellow scholars, your visits with your uh, fellow uh, teachers uh, and educators in your school. So this idea of making this bridge to application is driven by an idea that you look at the needs in your school, the needs in your life, the needs in your career. And so we refer to that as field-based. Research. So these field-based uh, work, research, applications are based on, it comes from the idea of out in the field. You get these ideas out in your real world. These are real-world applications. So this will be applications in your own world. So one way you do this, by the way, another term you might come across out in the research, there's several related ideas, but another is the idea of action research. So how do you wag your curriculum? Well, you try to make this jump from theory to application, and you do that through field-based research, field-based action research in your school. And so the only way that you can do this is to have a needs assessment of your, your class, of your school, and of your own career. So how do you do needs assessment? Well, certainly by the time you get to the end of your school administration program, uh, the next to the last semester, you have to take your internship one class. And in that class, you have to write the paper, uh, the plan for your education improvement project or your curriculum improvement project. So that has to be driven by the needs of your school. So why not use this class as a way to be looking all the way down to the end of the, of the program, the next to the last semester. And maybe you're going to take research 
You might have already taken, you might be taking it now, or you might take it close to the end. But when you're taking research, that's another time that you'll get to gather some of these tools of your research, of the research that you're going to do. So, how are you going to do these things? Well, you want to look up the tools of needs assessment would be another thing that would be a very important idea. What are the tools of needs assessment that will help you to connect every assignment that you do in this class to your needs out in your school and in your, in your own life? Well, some of those would be your own thoughts, your own reasoning. But as a graduate scholar, you always want to go beyond what you know now to what you can know with some research. So you might want to talk to other educators. If you already have an idea of what your curriculum development project might be when you get to the internship class, then you can really be focusing on that in target, that, uh, that plan that you're going to write in internship one and that you will begin to implement either in internship one and or in internship two. And then at the end of internship two that you will stand and give a eight minute presentation with a PowerPoint of all of that work that you did on that education improvement project. So these are all things that you can do to bring these assignments into your world and to make them more meaningful. So we begin to talk about trying to have twofers. That's just a kind of a tongue-in-cheek phrase for things that you get credit in class, but you also get credit in your school. Uh, you can use it in this class, but you might use it in research as well, and you certainly will use it on uh, the ideas from this class uh, when you get to your internship one paper. So here are some ideas of things that you can do to help yourself to work smarter, not harder. 